Hello everyone. Let's consider that we are doing root canal treatment for a mandibular left first molar. In the mesial root of mandibular first molar, there are two canals, the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual. We are taking a master cone radiograph and just imagine that one of the master cone has gone beyond the apex and the other is at the tip. How are we going to differentiate whether the cone which has gone beyond the apex is mesiobuccal or mesiolingual? Usually what we do is we place the radiographic sensor, the RVG sensor in the lingual aspect of the mandibular molar and then we focus the radiographic tube, the X-ray tube almost from the straight angulation and we expose a radiograph. In the digital radiograph, we can see that there is a cone which has gone beyond the apex and one it is up to the apex. So we cannot differentiate which cone has gone beyond the apex and which is correct. This is a big doubt in the mind of many dentists. So how to overcome this and how easily we can differentiate the mesiobuccal from the mesiolingual. Here we can see that usually we take from a straight angulation. Instead of taking or exposing the radiograph from a straight angulation, what we have to do is shift the radiographic tube from the straight to a mesial angulation. So instead of focusing from the buccal aspect of the first molar, we have to focus close to the, the from the mesial aspect of the mandibular first or the second premolar. So the tube is shifted mesially. So this is called as a mesial angulation. If you are exposing a radiograph in this position, we get a radiograph in which the two canals, the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual, will be separated separated. So now the problem is how do we know that which one is mesiobuccal and which one is mesiolingual. So we can see that one of the canal which is present close to the mesial side that is the uh, close to the premolar and the other is present close to the second molar. So the principle for differentiating the mesiobuccal from the mesiolingual is following this rule that is the slob rule which is the same side lingual and the opposite side buccal. So we gave a mesial shift, mesial angulation. So whichever the canal, the cone which is present in the mesial side is the lingual canal. So in this radiograph, so we gave a mesial angulation. So in this radiograph, the red colored mark one, we can see that which has gone to the same side. So we gave a mesial angulation and it has gone to the mesial side. So that is the lingual canal, which is mesiolingual. And the opposite side, which is the canal, which is present in the distal side is the mesiobuccal canal. So the mesiolingual is present mesially and the mesiobuccal is present distally. So this will be the greatest and the easiest technique for differentiating between the buccal and the lingual canal while doing a mandibular molar root canal treatments. Not only for first molar, for second molar and for, for any teeth, we can apply this principle. Even for premolars, the same principle can be applied. And so, uh, can we use a distal angulation instead of a mesial angulation? Yes, obviously we can use a distal angulation. So if we are giving a distal angulation, the canal which is present in the distal side will be the lingual canal. So wherever the angulation we are giving, whether mesial side, the mesial canal is lingual. The distal angulation, the distal canal is the lingual canal. So how, how do we remember this so simple and so easy for endodontic radiography? 
for endodontic for all purpose while doing root canal treatment, the mesial angulation is much helpful compared to that of the distal angulation. Distal angulation will be helpful to differentiate between MB1 and MB2 in case of a, a maxillary first molar. But in most of the clinical situations, a mesial angulation is the one which is uh, very, very helpful. So keep this if you are a beginner or if you are starting with this technique, keep always this in mind. Whenever you are taking a radiograph with files for working length or with master cones or after obturation, always give a mesial angulation and whichever the canal which you could see in the radiograph from the mesial aspect is always the lingual canal. So mesial angulation and the mesial canal is always the lingual canal. So I hope that this presentation is helpful and next time whenever you are seeing a radiograph you will be able to differentiate between the mesial buckle and the mesial lingual canal. So this in this example you can see that so this Let's keep that this radiograph is taken from a mesial angulation and the canal with the master cone which has gone beyond the apex is mesial buccal because mesial lingual, mesial present and mesial buccal distally present. So this can be used even if there are two canals in the distal root. So I hope that this presentation is helpful for all of you. I, I, in next week, I will come up with another video. Until then, have a nice day. Thank you for watching till the end.